Good day. We're into our time of fasting from November 2 to November 8, this year 2020. The theme is let the glory of God arise. We've been through some tough experiences and we continue to do so. But indeed, our Christian walk is always beset with troubles. But we want you to hear, let the glory of God arise. Listen what it says in Exodus chapter 14 and reading from verse 13. Moses told the people, fear not, stand still, firm, confident, undismayed, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will work for you today. For the Egyptians you see today, you shall never see again. For the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace and remain at rest. The Lord said to Moses, why do you cry to me? Tell the people of Israel to go forward. Lift up your rod and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it. And the Israelites shall go on dry ground in the midst of the sea. And I, behold, I will harden, make stubborn and strong the hearts of the Egyptians. And they shall go into the sea after them. And I will gain honor over Pharaoh and his host, his chariots, his horsemen. The Egyptians shall know and realize that I am the Lord when I have gained honor and glory over Pharaoh, his chariots and his horsemen. And the angel of the Lord who went before the host of Israel moved and went behind them. And the pillar of the Lord went from before them and stood behind them. Sometimes when we think about the glory of the Lord, we're just thinking about his presence in the form of a cloud. But I want you to see that even when the enemies of God are up against you, it's the time for the glory of God to arise. Here are the Israelites surrounded by the Egyptians and that they are beset by the hills on one side and the Red Sea on another side. But God says, Hold up your rod, Moses. Let the sea divide. I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians. They will come in after you, after you have passed over on dry ground. And so they did. And the Lord says, When I have conquered your enemies, it shows that my glory is with you. I will gain honor and glory over Pharaoh's chariots and horsemen. And he did. And as such, today, let the glory of God arise in you. As you go through this time of fasting and praying, let the glory of God conquer your enemies and bring you safely over the other side. It's the Red Sea season. It's time to pass through though and pass over on dry ground. Be encouraged. When the glory of God arises, indeed, God will gain honor you will be delivered from your enemies. Bless you. Amen. Let the glory of God arise. Hallelujah.